Hello everyone, my name is Nicole Coleman and I'm part of the communications department as well as the high school ministries here at Heights Church. Welcome to another devotional. Today we're continuing our thread, the Holy Spirit, our constant companion. But I'll be focusing on the Holy Spirit who guides us. It's so easy to get lost in the worldview of our lives, right? Plan our life's purpose around other people or success, fame. But it is so important and so vital that we stay focused on our true purpose in life, which is to glorify God. Today, I brought my camera and if I put it in automatic focus, it will focus on whatever is directly in front of it, but it's not always the subject I need to focus on in order to get that perfect shot. You know, it's, it's really easy to leave the camera in automatic focus, just like it's easy to focus on the world's purpose for us. When I put the focus in the manual setting where I have complete and full control of my focus range, I can capture my subject properly. This is what we need to do for our life's purpose, right? Allow the Holy Spirit to take control and take us off automatic focus and guide us in each and every step of our life. The Holy Spirit can help us to focus on why we are here which is to spread the love of God and to further grow his kingdom. If we allow the world to put us on automatic focus, we may never reach our full potential. The Holy Spirit wants to guide us and he absolutely has a plan for each of us. I know it can seem impossible to make every decision that we have based on serving the Lord. But when we do, he honors us and when we remember and think of Jesus in his human form when he came to this earth, he served God's purpose with every step that he took. He wasn't born into riches, but into poverty, and he wasn't adored, but beaten and sacrificed. In order to complete his purpose for God and to be up on that cross so that we all may be saved, he had to listen carefully and stay focused on his father's guidance and prioritize his actions in order to do the Lord's work. He wasn't focused on his own needs or his earthly needs, but in every single thing that he did, he served his Father in heaven, and he never, ever lost focus. No matter where we are in our life right now, no matter where you're at or what you're doing, you can still fulfill the purpose of God by glorifying him. Jesus promised us the Holy Spirit's guidance when he left this earth. What a beautiful promise. In John 16, 13, it says, But when he, the Spirit of truth, comes, he will guide you into all the truth. He will not speak on his own. He will speak only what he hears, and he will tell you what is yet to come. If you want to let the Holy Spirit lead your life and walk by the Spirit, it's a conscious choice that we need to make every single day. Pray that the Lord will fill you with his Spirit. Pray that you would walk by the Spirit. Then throughout your day, watch and listen for the opportunities to obey the Spirit's promptings because that is his guidance. Today I encourage you to pray that prayer, that the Holy Spirit will guide your life and help you to focus on your priorities so that you will lead a life that glorifies the Lord and he will honor that prayer. Whatever may come, embrace your purpose with the Holy Spirit. Thank you so much, church, we love you.